with our sports director, Paul Sicala, who is live out there now. Paul, how's it going? Going great. It is actually pretty warm right now, at least compared to the last couple of days, that's for sure. I'm not going to lie, it was very, very cold. I've, but today I was actually able to wear shorts before the sun kind of went down. But I can also tell you this, the Kolagard Classic goes beyond just the PGA legends and the competition on the course and the X's and O's and trying to win it. When it comes to strategics, it also brings tens of millions of dollars to our local economy right here in Tucson. And apart from that, the fans, they sure love it. They get the chance to get up close and personal with some of the best PGA players of all time. And I caught up with one fan who was pretty thrilled to follow along with Jim Furyk. Yeah, no doubt. When he was just walking by, it would have been great to give a little shout out to him, I know. But uh, yeah, uh, golf etiquette is uh, that uh, you kind of refrain from uh, yelling and screaming at the players. <laughs> Well, that's what we do here. We're all volunteers, all of us conquistadors. We love raising thousands of dollars for youth sports here in Tucson. And just getting to see the people out here is amazing, but the smile on the kids is what we do it for, 100%. Oh yeah, over the years the Tucson Conquistadores charity has raised tens of millions of dollars through this very tournament for a number of charities right here in the old Pueblo. And our coverage of the Coligard Classic in round two is far from over. With coming up later in sports, we will continue our in-depth coverage. I will tell you more about who's leading and what the leaderboard consists of. Plus, we'll check in with a few U.S. Army veterans who are benefiting from a program right here on the golf course, having lots of fun getting up close and personal with some of the PGA greats. It's a feel-good story you do not want to miss. Also, we'll have more on the U of A women's basketball team as they fight for NCAA seedings, a number four seed and perhaps some home games in the NCAA tournament. Today was senior day and we'll have more with their game against USC. Reporting live from the Coligar Classic, hosted by the Tucson Conquistadores, I'm Paul Cicala, News 4, Tucson.